It's Priscilla Penguin wishing you a very happy Halloween. It's a very exciting day, isn't it? I'm dressed up in my costume, and I'm sure many of you guys will be dressing up in your costumes and going out later tonight trick-or-treating with your family or your friends. It's very exciting. You know, one of the things that you see a lot during this time of year is a jack-o'-lantern. Have you ever made a jack-o'-lantern? I like making jack-o'-lanterns. So what's the first thing you gotta do? Well, first you have to pick your pumpkin. And then you take it home, and you gotta wash off all the dirt and the mud on the outside. And then you cut a hole on top and pull out all the slimy and stringy and yucky stuff inside along with the seeds. And then you carve a face, eyes, a nose, and a mouth. And I don't know about you, but I like my jack-o'-lanterns happy. So I usually carve my jack-o'-lantern with a smile. And then after that, you put a light inside, whether it's a candle or maybe it's a flashlight. Um, and then you put it on your windowsill or you put it outside on your front porch for the light to shine through the eyes and nose and the mouth so that anybody that passes by your house will see the light. Well, you know, that's a really great picture of what happens when Jesus comes into our heart. When we become a Christian and we invite Jesus into our heart, He picks us up and cleans us up and washes off all our sin. And then He takes away all our selfishness and the yucky stuff inside, like the seeds of doubt, and, um, and takes it away. And then He puts a smile on our face, and then He puts His light inside us to shine for all the world to see. In Matthew chapter 5, verse 16, it says, In the same way, let your light shine before men, so they will see your good deeds and praise your Father in heaven. And that's how it is with the jack-o'-lantern. So, when you're out tonight, trick or treating, and you see the jack-o'-lanterns shining their light from inside, I hope you'll think of Jesus and how he washes away our sins and puts his light inside us for all.